But the clocks ticking deep inside our bodies dominate every moment of every day of our lives. We tend to think that we eat and drink whenever we choose, but actually those behaviors are very much influenced by the, the body clock. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, our lives on Earth are dominated by the ticking hand of time. Atomic clocks and satellites keep time precisely across the Earth's surface, maintaining accuracy to a tenth of a billionth of a second per day. Have you ever thought, how does your body know what time of day it is? It's not looking at your watch. There's great advantages to be gained from understanding how the body clock works. It's a starting point for how we engage with the world. These changing rhythms are controlled by the central body clock, which is found deep inside your brain. This is what the clock in action actually looks like. Because for the first time, we're able to look inside this secret world of the clockwork. That is far more accurate in timekeeping than just about any other form of biochemistry. It really is a profoundly exquisite mechanism. The master clock in our brains is not alone. There are body clocks present in just about every part of our body, in the heart, in the lung, in the liver, in the kidneys. You name it, it likely has its own clockwork ticking away inside it. There is something outside of our bodies that plays a critical role in controlling our internal time. It's got nothing to do with your alarm clock, and it's been with us since the dawn of time. Light is the single most influential external factor affecting the regulation of your body clock. The way these light triggers control the body clock is that the light passes through the eye onto the back of the eye, and then down the nerves from the eye into the brain, the light impulses trigger the release of chemicals onto the clock cells, and in that way, that 24-hour cycle is tweaked either forwards or backwards, slower or faster, to make it exactly 24. The problem is that our bodies rarely fully adjust to shift work patterns, leaving them perpetually out of sync. We're finding that the incidence of cancer is higher in night shift work, uh, mental health, um, cardiovascular disease, and a whole slew of other pathologies. It's at that, literally in the small hours, you know, the quiet hours between two and four o'clock in the morning, when the body's turned down to its minimum operation, that's when people tend to slip off this mortal coil. But even from the very first breath we take, okay, sweetie. our natural rhythms are being influenced by the modern world. As more women give birth in hospitals, and experience greater intervention to natural birth, these early morning baby rhythms have become less pronounced. I think disregarding our, our, our body clock is, is foolish at every level. It's a, a beautifully orchestrated clock within our brain that's activating a whole slew of different systems. The body clock really is a fantastic piece of biological machinery. Because it controls what we do and how well we do it, Knowing how it works, we can really turn to our own advantage. 